Hello everyone, and welcome. Today, I will walk you through the process of connecting Microsoft Excel to N8N. This connection allows you to automate tasks involving your Excel files using N8N's powerful workflow automation. By the end of this tutorial, you will know how to set up the connection and create workflows that read from or write to Excel spreadsheets automatically. Now let's begin by understanding the common ways to connect Excel to N8N. Since Excel files are usually stored locally or on cloud platforms like OneDrive or SharePoint, you will typically connect N8N to Excel files stored on OneDrive or SharePoint. This is because N8N has built-in nodes to work with Microsoft's cloud storage services. You can also use other nodes like the HTTP request node if you want to work with Excel files in a more customized way. The first step is to make sure your Excel file is stored on OneDrive or SharePoint. This storage is necessary because N8N will need access to the file via Microsoft's Cloud API. Open your Excel file and save it to OneDrive or SharePoint if it is not already there. Remember the location or URL of your file because you will need it later. Next, you need to set up Microsoft credentials in N8N to allow it to access your Excel file. To do this, log in to your N8N instance. Once inside N8N, start by creating a new workflow. Click on the New Workflow button. After that, you will add a node that connects to Microsoft services. Click the plus icon to add a node and search for Microsoft Excel or Microsoft OneDrive or Microsoft SharePoint. These nodes are designed to interact with Excel files through Microsoft's cloud platform. The next step is to set up credentials. Click on the Credentials section of the node and then select Create New. You will be asked to log in with your Microsoft account. This login process allows N8N to connect securely to your OneDrive or SharePoint account. Follow the prompts and grant the necessary permissions to N8N. These permissions allow N8N to read and write files on your behalf. After successfully connecting your Microsoft account, return to the node configuration. Here, you can specify the file path of your Excel file on OneDrive or SharePoint. If you're using the Microsoft Excel node, you can now choose what action you want to perform. Actions can include reading data from a worksheet, adding new rows, or updating existing data. To read data, select the worksheet you want to work with and specify the range of cells if needed. After setting this up, execute the node to test if it can access your Excel data. If the node returns the expected data, your connection is working correctly. Make sure to save your workflow after making all changes. You can then activate it so that N8N runs the automation automatically based on your triggers. This setup opens up many automation possibilities for managing Excel data efficiently.